Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss a problem asked in RTGM 2020 paper based on directional derivative. So, what we are given, we are given a function z in terms of basically it's a function of two variables here. You can see z is given by this, and we have to find the directional derivative of this function z at this point 2 comma minus 1 along the unit vector b. So let's start and finally we have to calculate what is this magnitude. So you can see that the function z, we know that the directional derivative, directional derivative of a function along a unit vector is given in terms of the following dot product. In our case, dot this u. This is how this is the directional derivative is defined. Where this f is some scalar function that is a f can be function multivariable function and u is a unit vector. So in our case, this definition becomes gradient of this z dot b this quantity we have to calculate so first observe since the unit vector this b given by alpha i plus beta j is a unit vector that is magnitude of b is 1 so this implies what alpha square plus beta square square root is given by 1 and if we square both sides from here we can conclude this this we can conclude now gradient of z is given by this quantity del by del x of z comma del by del y of z so del by del x of z is you have to if take the partial derivative of this function z with respect to x so this is given by del by del x of y square e to the power 2x comma del by del y of partial derivative of again same function so how this is given this is given by 2 e to the power 2x y square 2y e to the power 2x now this quantity we have to calculate at 2 comma minus 1 here we have to calculate this quantity so the gradient of z dot b now becomes simply the dot product 2e 2x y square 2y e 2x times b components of b is oh, i'm sorry alpha comma beta so this becomes 2 alpha e to the power 2x y square plus 2 beta y e to the power 2x at the point uh, 2 comma minus 1 this is given by at 2 comma minus 1 this quantity becomes simply replace x by 2 and y by minus 1 everywhere so it will be 2 alpha e to the power 4 minus 1 square is same as 1 plus 2 beta y is minus 1 e to the power 4 and we are given that this directional derivative is 0 we are given this that is gradient of z dot b is 0 therefore this implies 2 alpha e to the power 4 minus 2 beta e to the power 4 is 0 from here if you take this factor common 
you are left with this much certainly this is a non zero quantity so it forces this factor to be zero and it gives alpha is same as beta very simple problem now alpha is same as beta we have to use this star now from here if we replace alpha by beta then we get beta square plus beta square is 1 which implies simply beta square equals to half and beta equals to plus minus 1 by root 2 since alpha is same as beta so this is same as alpha now we have to calculate magnitude this magnitude but we know since alpha is same as beta so this can be replaced by alpha plus alpha replace beta by alpha so this is we know now here we going to use the property it is same as twice mod of alpha although both are scalars uh, now mod of alpha will be magnitude of alpha will be alpha is here here this is simply one by root 2 so now this quantity becomes square root of 2 so this mod alpha plus beta magnitude equals square root of 2 so let's quickly revise what we have done here first we use the definition of the directional derivative of the given for the given function z which is a function of two variables x and y along the unit vector b at this point this is the point of interest and finally this dot product was given to be zero so here we calculated this quantity equated to zero obtained this result that alpha is same as beta finally we have to calculate this magnitude this one so we simply replaced alpha by beta and obtained that this magnitude comes out to be square root of 2 so in this particular case option c is the correct option thank you so much for watching the video there are some important element links given in the description do like the video if you find it useful and do share it among your friends thank you so much for watching do subscribe the channel thank you so much